All right. So here's another one. Jack Morgan. I don't even think his YouTube channel is a year old. Let's go ahead and see the oldest. Oh, he's actually over a year. Let's see what his first oh, video was. Going to jail like was. Let's see. He did his first video November 9th, 2022. Now, this is just another thing. Literally, let's kind of go back. Um, when he first started out, yeah, he actually got on his train very early, early of re-uploading. Because, you know, there, there's a season, right? When you start YouTube, you start putting out content. There's a season where you're trying to figure out what works. And he found out that re-uploading TikTok videos, because, like, you know, I had some problems with the TikTok. Because I don't really go on TikTok that much. So I really don't know how the site works. But literally, he started, and look, <laughs> look who he's, he really started making money. He really started to get into his feel. And this is nothing but um, negative content. This is content about people struggling. This is content about people um, doing certain things. Now, let's go ahead and see if he has the same thing that Michael does. So we will go to, let's kind of go into his pop, popular content. And women are living in fantasy land, hitting the wall files. He put this up eight months ago. This one seemed to have done really end. well. And once again, th this is another area you can make a lot of money on YouTube talking negatively about women or putting up something negative about women. I will not be surprised if these comments are negative. I would, I would not be surprised. I broke up with my girlfriend because there was no choice. She would say mean things and sell every project I took on. I feel better without the stress. I was a simp. No more. The first girl needs six figures to afford her diet. I came from nothing. My mama had no loves. My uncle was gay. Uh, that must be in the video. There's no way this guy wiping old people making tour. He would be lucky to making. Okay, uh, the dude, that was it. Let's see. Marriage day is a modern woman's side hustle to divorce is to cash out of husband's earnings. In the TC, none of these guys make up 30K, and I'm being generous. Once again, once again, you will see nothing but um, negative content, negative comments. So, okay, this was about women. And let's kind of go back. Let's get into, because he really started just growing. So let's kind of go into, does he do shorts? He doesn't do shorts. And shorts can destroy your channel. Uh, Social Blade, let's get into it. Let's see what Jack's doing. I think Jack's had a million views per month. And once again, if you want to make 1.2 million views a month. Now, this is one of the things because uh, Jack, this is all Jack does. This is all Jack does. Jack doesn't have a job. And he's doing 1.2. So I would say on the low side, that's 10, 15, 20,000 a month. On the high side, I will say that's 40 a month. Once again, you know, just I don't I have no clue what kind of ads they're running on his channel, but channel, but Jack make this is all he does. He does nothing else. And let's go to the videos. Uh, let's go to the latest. Now he doesn't get the views that Michael gets. Michael's been at this a little bit longer, but essentially what you will see. And this, this is all he does. He goes to TikTok. He finds trash videos on TikTok. And he talks about it. 
and he's got this uh, humorous approach like let's keep it loose let's keep it easy let's keep it fly and he goes off into it and literally uh let's see that's one video and you will see um tick tock once again go to another video do, 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 do. it's taking some time all right once again TikTok. And once again, he's not. Let's see. TikTok. <laughs> All he does, there's Michael again. And TikTok. Uh, he got 154,000 views on this one. And let's see what's the comment saying. Our money has been devalued so badly that 25 hours a joke. What time to be alive? Job market is bad. Dating market is bad. Housing market is bad. <laughs> $20 was good money in 21. I saw her wa wa waitress working on Christmas. She seemed out of it and looked extremely tired. Asked her about her life. She's a single mom with a six-year-old little girl. I was working straight 24-hour shift that day. That's not normal, folks. Uh, I'm a truck driver, and for 10 years I've been told that I should learn the code because robots are taking my job. Now I hear the tech being laid off. Not going to, be, to lie. It makes me laugh when I hear this stuff. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, this whole thing, and this is something that I actually predicted in the older video. Let, let, let's kind of take a little detour from because uh, you know self-driving trucks right I actually said years ago that self-driving trucks were um, 10 15 20 years away and here it is they're still talking about self-driving trucks but the reality for us to get massive self-driving trucks it ain't happening no time soon. No time soon. So I thought that was funny. Um, now that is something else too. We we haven't talked about self-driving trucks having flat tires and um, other things. But yeah, self-driving trucks. All right, let's go back to Jock. Uh, the Federal Reserve System is not federal. It has no reserves. It's not even a system at all, but rather an international criminal syndicate. <laughs> Just lost my job. Sweet gig making 80K last year that I enjoyed with no education necessary. Will not find a job like this ever again. The owners of the company eliminated the department and hired contract workers so they could save a few bucks. No severance for 16 years of service is cutthroat out there, people. Get it whatever you can. Don't feel bad about getting yours. I remember people telling me some time ago that it was only rich and poor. There's no such thing as middle class. The belief is if you have to work to survive, you're poor. And there are many levels of comfort in that range. If you don't have to work and you can live, you're rich. It always made sense to me. Degrees used to be much more valuable for the job market when everyone and their cousins didn't have two or three of them. 25 an hour isn't much and eventually 50 hours an hour won't be thanks to government and federal policies. Dollar valuation only goes down. Remember, since the Fed was created, the dollar has lost 98 percent of its value. That's 100 years before the Fed. The dollar doubled in value. As long as everyone is divided, they keep getting away with it. Careers went out the door when companies got rid of pensions and making you gamble your own money with a 401k. Graduated in 83. I never worked less than six hours a week ever. Took bad jobs over time to get ahead. Taking every term, every opportunity to learn a remarkable skill. Most of my under 40 will be some type of work that does not exist today. Do not get the stirrers, debt, and waves which always hunt you. You do everything to avoid it. 
oh, I am 60 years old. I feel sad for the new generation. They don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some of them decide not to have kids and the situation is not getting any better. What a chitty life for these young people. They work very hard and still not able to pay their bills. I mean, it's freaking discouraging. I'm sorry for this new generation to see they don't have any future. And he got a lot of comments on that one. He got a lot of comments. All right. I'm 25. I like watching these videos, but I don't share their sentiments. Make above the median salary in the U.S. and doing great financially. My only complaint is houses practically doubled in four years. This is true. I think a big problem is AI of the technological advancement. 50 plus years ago, there wasn't much stuff to buy stairs today, which is leaving people poor today due to materialism. That's a different comment. So. They're, they're getting into it. But. This is essentially. Uh, Jack started really, really growing because he, like I said, he's been around a while and essentially all Jack does this, you know, if, if you want some YouTube advice, I'm about to give you some YouTube advice. All Jack does most part is go to TikTok, find videos that are about the topic that he wants to talk about. And he does a talk over. He's, He's somewhat of a comedian and he does these things. This is the only thing this man does. This is it. This is the only thing he does. And this is the power of negative content. This is the power of it. Like literally, uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go here. And I guarantee you, we will see another tick tock. All right. We already looked at that one. Let's kind of go a little bit more. Uh, let's see. We're going to see Michael. Not necessarily a tick tock, but it's more in line with negative content in the videos. Picture this, you own nothing to be happy when buying a used car, find a good local independent mechanic and have them check the vehicle first. Best 40 you will ever spend. Um, Pre-inspection vehicle, pre-inspection for a vehicle, a lunch more than 40 bucks. I bought a 1999 Tacoma in October of 1998. These base models, no extras, paid that off around 2020, 2002. Hadn't had a car payment in over 20 years. Still driving today as my main driver of 469,000 miles. I decided a long time ago the car payments were not for me. I'm gladly drive a beater to save and invest money rather than lose it on a depreciating asset. The decision has served me well. Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey telling people to save up and invest get $5 million but he fails to tell you you'll be old, too old to spend the money and enjoy it, assuming if you make it that long. Once again, you know, you can go, you know, once again, do not attack Jack anything. You know, he's just a guy making a living, doing his thing, and it's worked out for him. It's worked out for him because, like I said, you know, he said it. This is the only thing he does. He said it in his videos. And uh, let's see. Once again, he's relatively new. You know, he just started in 2022. So this November will be his second full year on YouTube. But Jack, I think, has found his footing much earlier than Michael did. But you will notice he's got a lot of Michael. I think I think Jack and Michael are, live somewhere close to each other. They're both in Florida. They're both in Florida. So. Yeah, because, you know, he's got a lot of Jack stuff. Apparently, you know, and what he does. Let's see, this could be you. One of the things and, you know, uh, one of the reasons I'm not really playing a lot of the clips and I'm not playing the sound is I had some videos that I had did some of my point of view and I had some people report. It wasn't you guys reporting it. It was the content creator who was reporting it because I was doing it. So I'm doing these videos a little bit different. 
where I'm not like playing a lot of their videos and I'm just doing my commentary over. So we should be good to go. Um, the van life ec epidemic part two. I was homeless in Central Valley of California, lived in my 1999 Mustang. I was fortunate enough to work six days per week and my job had under a parking where I could sleep on my days off. I would travel two hours to the beach. I made the best of it and it was amazing. That was five years ago. Save money, have fun. I'm chilling in my own apartment. Do what we have to do, gents. Keep, just keep moving forward. Thank you for your videos, Jack. Keep up the good content. You know, once again, they never about to, never talk about. <laughs> I'm just gonna highlight that. <laughs> Woo! Lived in my Toyota Corolla for two years. So uh, essentially, what we're talking about is the van life epidemic. This is something that I talked about. And, you know, this guy, his name is Bob Wells, Cheap RV Living. Bob loves living in the van. Bob probably does 20000 a month from his YouTube channel. He doesn't have to live in the van, but he enjoys that van life. Uh, let's see. Cheap RV Living. Let's kind of get into that. Cheap RV Living. Uh, he's 69 years old. Wow. So, yeah, Bob, Bob's making some money. Whoa. Well, Bob is 69. And Bob is apparently in the hospital somewhere. And Bob has someone helping him. Wow, I did not know Bob. I did not know Bob was like 69 years old. I did not know that. So, but I've known about Bob. Bob's been on YouTube a long time. Uh, seven years. So Bob actually started his YouTube channel when he was 62 years old. So you got that going on. But back to Jack. You know, like, like I said, Jack has found his footing he and Michael have done videos together, so they live somewhere fairly close in Florida. And my internet, let's go, let's kind of go into it. Because essentially all Jack does every day is he get up. Uh, let's see, American Way isn't working out too well. And he literally, this is all he does. He'll, he'll go ahead and he has this comedic way of doing it. American isn't working out too well. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I don't have the audio turned on, so you will not actually get this. Uh, so I'm not going to try to pull that out. But typically, let's look at the comments. When I was younger in my 20s, I drove shit box cars, had to deal with the police all the time. It was a nightmare. They definitely target people that look poor to figure that you could find something you're not hiring a lawyer. Notice that comments on Jack's videos are not as negative as the comments on Michael's videos. It's just some you would notice. They're, they're kind of middle of the way. The Federal Reserve System is not federal. It has no reserves. It's not even system at all, but rather international criminal system. <laughs> Okay, I have seen that comment before. I have seen that comment before. I spent so many years afraid of cops because I had to drive for their insurance to go to work. I was fucking poor, trying to survive, sweating many times the cop came near me, behind me, or if I needed two more paychecks to afford to update my tabs so I could go to work to be poor. That that sounds really, really rough. Really, really rough. And, you know, back in the day, you could actually, you know, Go ahead, pay for insurance one month, get your certificate, put in your glove compartment, and you're, you're fine. Now everything's on the computer. So essentially, you're kind of screwed if you're going to uh, try to drive without insurance today. You are screwed. That it's just not going to work. 
Because the minute they pull you over, they're going to know if your insurance is valid or not. So, you know, th- this this is once again, this this is the negative content. Like if you want to start a YouTube channel, like literally Jack just like like I said, Jack found his footing pretty quickly. And let's see. TikTok. He he's somewhat of a clown. He he's somewhat of a clown, and I I think people find it's entertaining to watch this guy. Uh, people are coming about voting if if the political parties aren't serving the same agenda. Let's keep arguing about guns, abortion, and trans people. It's working out well. The cost of living epidemic. So one of the things that Jack does is if he finds something that's working. Jack will make another video about it if he's find out that it's working because, you know, you will. And this is something else I have seen that didn't work for me. Living paycheck to paycheck part two. Uh, One of the issues. Let's see. Let's kind of go back. Let's go back up to it. And think he's actually commenting from YouTube and he does these camera views where he's got this camera right here well you can't see my finger pointing but the the, the little square thing on top of this computer that's his um, thing and you know that's his studio that's what he does this thing and so he has a camera (laughs) And let me explain this setup because essentially this is, you know, his mic. You can't see my thing pointing, but at his mic, it goes into a box and he's recording his audio independently of the video. So he's got a camera over here and he's got a camera to the side and then he goes back to his thing. So when he does his editing, he just dubs in the audio where it needs to be. So this is, and then I remember I saw this video because it's like, I will never work two jobs. Um, But once again, you know, let's just go ahead and give you the blueprint. If you want to be successful on YouTube today, start a channel that's talking about the bad economy. Uh, Let me just go ahead and break it down to you. Amazon. Do, 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 do. Let's go to up side demo graphics. Let me explain to you again what's going on. All right, there we go. So go ahead and get this book, get it from Amazon, get the Audible, listen to it, check it out, and see the 80% is the largest segment in America. It's, it's massive. Uh, let's see. We have... Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have a population of, like, I'm just, I'm kind of ballparking it, but I think 335 million, right? Minus 80%. 268 million people. 268 million people. That is a massive market. And this is one of the reasons that you will see that negative content does so well on YouTube. And negative content does so well on TikTok. And negative content. Like uh, someone did a video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout this guy out. I think you will enjoy watching his videos because the way that they do it is, you know, I think the guy's brilliant. And uh, his name is Cam James. And uh, check out Cam James because essentially he's puts out some really, really good content. Um, And let's see. And he did this video talking about the shade room. 
And he, it's, it's really interesting how he does his setup because he, he walks up to the camera and he's got this little thing called A, right? This little thing he gets into. He goes in there. He's about to do it. And then they get into it. It's, it's really, really well produced. But he did something about the shade room and how he blocked the shade room and how he had to unblock the shade room. But once again, negative content does quite well on YouTube. Um, it does quite well on um, TikTok. It does quite well on the shade room. The shade room had, to, let's see, what the shade room? Because that, the shade room is making millions. Um, the shade room, good Lord. They've got almost 30 million followers and they're rolling they're rolling hard and the shade room is mostly negative content mostly like 90 percent negative content and they be rolling and they be rolling but once again if you want to um Go ahead and start a YouTube channel today and you want to grow very, very quickly. Start making commentary in support of the 80 percent. The 80 percent, 268 million people. It's a massive demographic of people who are out here struggling, people out here who can't afford a house, people out here who cannot afford to live the lives that they want to live in America and what Jack does because Jack Morgan, I think it's red leather products, RLP because he, he named it and um, going back to his demographics, you know, once you're getting over a million views a month, I would say, um, let's see. There was this girl. So I would say Jack's doing 20 to maybe 20,000, let's say between 20 and 40, but Michael's doing way more. Michael's doing way more. And this is a valid way that you can make a living because literally uh, we would go back to his oldest videos and we would see when Jack start. Jack literally, women over 30 hitting the wall. Once again, he started this with TikTok he started it with TikTok and 10 months ago, 42,000 views, right? Then we will go back, go back to his oldest. So that was 10 months ago. Dating single moms is the best. Number two, dating single moms is the best. Number three, and you, you will see that he, he, he kind of figured out that if he goes to TikTok, and, you know, TikTok is kind of crazy. Oh, man, if you ask a girl with face tats and nose rings out on a date, then it's on you. The crystals really do work. Mm. Single mother's amazing. The best sales pitch they can say. If a single mother has multiple children with multiple men, trust me, that's not the best way to go. Not alone, man. That burling in the nose is a red flag turn off. Uh, I don't. Oh, oh, oh. There was a lot of comments about her, a lot of comments about her and the nose thing and the face tats. Let's see. Yeah, the audio is muted because, like I said, you know, some people will report you for putting up their videos and stuff if you have their audio and stuff. So some people, I don't think Jack's of that kind of thing. So once again, like TikTok, TikTok is the relief valve of America. That's my opinion of it. Um one of the things you consistently see is, you know, people talking about stuff. 
But if you want to start a successful channel, YouTube channel and get to livable money, and I'm talking about in a year, like say you start your YouTube channel in six months, you're making like five to seven thousand. That then that in my mind is livable money. This is the way to do it. Create a YouTube channel talking about negative content, the economy, uh, what's going on with people. Um, I don't know if he's, I don't think he's a virgin, but this video, Black Pill Manospear, this is kind of when Jack was still trying to figure out his way. That's what I think he was still trying to figure out which way he was going to go, what direction he was going to go into. But um, yeah. I'm not going to play it because, you know, like I said, some people be tripping, you know, if you use their video and they're like, oh, so the way I'm doing it now is I'm doing a clear highlight because essentially I'm creating my own video because, like I said, you know, copyright strikes, they're no joke. Oh, I remember this. Y'all remember the lady in the medical hat? Let's see. That video was going very wild because she's like. I'm going to work this job. Oh, and this is kind of when I was making fun of all these people coming on TikTok, complaining how bad it is versus people like once again, these people don't want a solution. They're not looking for a solution. They don't want a solution. All they want to do is come to TikTok and complain and hope America crashes. This is what they're looking at. They're looking at America crashing. They, they're not seeking solutions. They're not trying to make any more money. That, that's, that's, that's not part of the bag. That, that's just not part of the bag. These folks don't want to do that. They want to come to YouTube, make you know TikTok, and make these videos. Um, let's see. I don't know if he has her in this. Because essentially... Oh, this guy, I remember this one. This guy was straight up lying. He was saying that average American income in the 1920s was 4,500 bucks a month. Now, let, let me just kind of stop that, right? This guy right here, you see my mouse moving? He is straight up lying. Average income in the 1920s was like 1200 to $1,500 per year. How do I know this? I researched this years ago. So he actually inflated the numbers to make it look like America's much off than it is. And it's funny. Oh, and here we go with her. Uh, she was like very viral. This woman here, you know, I'm about to go in this job I hate in the work. And she's just talking about working so hard. She only works one job. She only works one job. But once again, the 80% are not looking for solutions. They don't want a solution. They don't want to solve their problems. All they want to do is go to TikTok and make these kind of videos. That's what you will see. People pay to be slaves now, Dave. Dave Ramsey says when he sees a nice car pull up the stoplight, he only sees payments. I agree. Do you know why they call it the American dream? Because you have to be asleep to believe it. Once again, this is something that you're going to see with these um, YouTube channels. You're going to see a ton of negative comments because this is the 80 <clears> percent. <throat> this is the 80 percent. I quit smoking, buying coffee just so I can have extra money in my pockets, moved in with my girlfriend and only paying 500 a month for rent. I knew this recession. Now, once again, we're not in a recession. Technically, we're, we're actually first quarter grew, second quarter grew. We're not in a recession. Unemployment is low. But once again, the 80 percent is, you know, I kind of like go back and look at, you know, let's kind of dive into and let's kind of go back to some of my popular videos. Aha, here's one. And in this video, 
the coming crisis. I did not know, because I did not analyze the market and stuff, I did not know that I had tapped into the negative content commentary thing. I, I had no clue. And once again, look, dude, we're already in the recession. We're headed in the depression. So when did I make this video? May 17th, 2022. All right. First quarter. GDP 2022. All right. The GDP contracted at a 2% rate in the first quarter. Redised down from the previously reported. Okay. So let's see. Second quarter. GDP. So technically, we were in a recession in 2022. Hmm, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So we were definitely in a recession. Ran a trucking company twice, first time in the midst of the first recession between 2008. The gas prices then put them out of business, so you're 100% correct. Look at the number of content comments I got for this, right? See, negative content works really, really well. I mean, once again, and why? Why, why, why? Boom, upside. Profiting for program demographic shifts ahead. I, that video, and the reason that video did really, really well is it had tapped into the 80%, how bad things were. Now, not an overly complicated thumbnail, but once again, right now, we're not in a recession, technically. We're not in a recession. But people think that we're in a recession, and the 80% assumes that we're in the recession because they cannot live life the way that they want to live because they don't have the money and you will consistently uh see when tyranny becomes okay let's go to youtube and this video just came out the other day it's at 45 look at the number of comments Malco used to be my aunt okay Why trust a government that's more concerned about other countries' borders than our own? <clears throat> I really don't think the United States of America is more concerned with other country borders. I recently turned 54. It's crazy to think I remember a time when America was considered a great country to live in. Once again, I guarantee you the vast majority of these comments will be negative. The vast majority. I'm not even going to read them. Um, Jack, retired Army, 2001, be 61 here soon and hate the government more now than ever. Once again, you, you're in this whole thing where um, you got people who are like, you know, this video's got a ton of views and Jack has created a very... Uh, like like I said, a loyal ar army of people. People no longer trust the American government. <laughs> Conspiracy theories, talking about stuff, talking about crazy stuff, showing TikTok videos. Now, I got a question for you. You know, if you could put this in the comments, how come we don't have people talking on YouTube like we have them talking on TikTok? I think TikTok is America's... Um, I want to say melting pot. I don't even know what it is, but people just go on TikTok and act crazy. And one of the things you got to be really careful about with TikTok, like, let me kind of go back. Uh, like, let's see. I should be able to find this pretty quickly because uh, I took a break. 
and you know people thought I was dead and all this other stuff let's see I haven't done a live stream in forever I have no clue okay so let's see where is uh -huh. so I have been back yeah this right here doing well in the bad economy right and the reason that this video has so many views and stuff is because I disappeared for two you know two months and people thought I was dying and all this other kind of stuff but typically I don't get this type of comment on the video with this kind of views I just don't so you know that you know that's that's kind of one of the reasons I just kind of dipped out because um I made this video to try to be helpful, but once again, once again, the 80% isn't looking for help. They don't want to help. They don't want to do anything. All they want to do is complain. And um, let's go to the upgrade. All right. And she put out a video and she's young. And, you know, she was just talking about issues and stuff and everything in the economy. And once again, this economy sucks. Once again, you will see a pattern. Go down two jobs. It's ludicrous, let alone three. This country is no class consciousness. I'm glad I feel someone that feels about the same about complaining. I love to complain. Second that, like, damn, let's rant. I love your honesty. Go ahead. I love to complain. I love to complain. Yes, yes, yes. It sounds disturbing to hear the so-called financial gurus and others telling folks to get two, three, four more jobs for why just to lose the extra money income taxes. You know, as someone who's had two and three jobs at one point, uh, I made more money before taxes. I don't know where this whole thing is. When you're going, you're just going to lose money. I, I don't know where that goes. I, I have no clue about that. But once again, you will see a lot of I was making 17 in 2005 and that was nothing then. The system is wicked. Once again, if you want to start a successful YouTube channel in this era of YouTube, start a YouTube channel talking about negative content. Negative content is a win right now because once again, why? The demographics. We're talking about 268 million people struggling to rent rent prices have shot up the they can't afford to buy a house it's a huge huge demographic but more importantly this is a demographic that's in pain they're struggling because of why social media social media you can see people every day you can go to instagram like uh you can go to instagram and literally see people living their best life. Uh, that's my Instagram. And you go to Instagram and you just kind of. Let's see home. You will see all kinds of stuff that are happening. You see people living their best life. This looks like a happy family. What the heck is. All right. That house is set up like <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Whoa. That that's a lot. That's a lot. But you can go to Instagram any day of the week and see people living their best life, how you know, fantastic lives and stuff. Uh, I did a video about him the other day, and I think I took that down because I don't think he would narc on me. But a lot of these folks have gotten um, kind of crazy. Let's 
So, yeah, you go to Instagram and you can see people are living their best life. But once again, Jack literally started a YouTube channel in November of 2022. And in 2023, it became his full time job. And I, like I said, I think on the high side, Jack's doing like 20000 a month. And I want you to think about this. All right. So you wake up in the morning and then you go ahead to TikTok and you look for crazy videos and you pick a topic and you do this. And Jack's putting out a video every two days or every three days. So Jack's making money because that's another thing in this genre. You can consistently put out content and get views. He did 60. This one did 31, 76, 45, 79. This one almost popped 100. This one went over 100, 62, 78. So wait a minute. Americans are being taxed to death. <laughs> Jack's in the pool with some sunglasses on. Once again, um, taxes are the best. The U.S. is in the country. It's a business, but he gets a ton of con of comments. He gets a ton of comments, man. Good credit is not an indicator of financial discipline. Apparently, I have a credit score in the 500s and I have thousands of dollars in investments, crypto stocks, a bunch of cash, precious metals. I own my car. I have absolutely zero debt. The reason why my credit is low because I simply have literally neither, never had a credit card. Good card credit is a sign of being a good boy slave. Okay. He said that. So... One of the things that you will really, really have to understand if you want to be successful in the YouTube space today, negative content or making mocking people or talking. Because once again, let me I'm, I know I'm wearing your eyes out, but once again, get this book. The target audience for his content is massive. It's huge. And little did I know. uh I think, yeah, my video is, it's gone. Let's see. Go back. Videos. Go to popular. Yeah. Now, this is actually a helpful video right here. And this is an actual, this video actually did well. But this video was done eight years ago. I got 101 comments. So one of the things you have to understand is um, here's another negative video. Black Friday sales are down 78,000 views. How many how many comments did I get on this one? 252. So when you go into the negative comment, negative com commentary space, your views just just go crazy right they just go crazy and um one of the things that happened with me actually doing this and stuff people no longer trust the american government conspiracy theories work very very well in this space they work really really well in this space so this is another thing that you have to pay attention to so just go ahead and check this video out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And I will see you guys in the next one.